Sup guys, it's your boy Justin with another X-Men Month review. I wasn't planning on reviewing this comic book, which I got for five bucks at the antique shop, but uh, you know, I saw my boy Dark Side is Comics review a classic X-Men book, so I thought oh, I'll check it out. By the way, I did review for the Flash. This is the popcorn bucket I, I got. So if you haven't seen my Flash <laughs> movie review, check it out. And thanks for all the people who left likes and comments. Uh, uh, the likes and comments really helped me keep this going. So I would appreciate more. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, today we're reviewing a classic X-Men book. I'm not entirely sure what the heck classic X-Men is. I think... They're basically reprints of the old, like, Chris Claremont and John Byrne run, but I'm not 100% sure. This this is a cover by Arthur Adams, and here you can see, um, at the back, you can see the original cover, right? Which, th this has, like, two stories, this is, like, a 32-page comic book. It has two stories, one the main story and a bonus story, which, look at this crap, there's hard... No, there's hard chocolate on this cover. I paid five bucks for this, and there's what the hell? That's bull, that's BS. But whatever. Yeah. So this is written by Chris Caramont, with art by Dave. What's it called? Dave Cochran, Rum, and Bob Layden. And the the guy who did the art for the bonus story is John Bolton. John Bolton. Sorry, I'm, I was thinking Michael Bolton. Yeah, so this comic book is basically about the first time, I guess, that uh, ex Professor Xavier has uh, met, like, uh, Leandra from the Shi'ar Empire, which I'm not too familiar f with the 70s run of X-Men, uh, you know, because I... I I've, I've, I'm waiting till I find the omnibuses, but, like, I can never find them in stores. So, it's like, it is what it is. Yeah, so basically, the X-Men were on, um, Muir Island, but then got telepathic call from Professor Xavier, or something, and they're, they, they basically, they believe Professor Xavier's in danger, so they go to rush to save him. So, the, the X-Men on the team is Cyclops, Storm... Nightcrawler, Wolverine, Colossus, and Banshee. Right here you see Chandra. And then you have like, you know, um, Professor Xavier is in pain, uh, is in uh, turmoil because he thinks he's going crazy with these visions of the, this alien, which tr turns out to be a Leandra. So yeah, he's at, he's at like a, a lunch uh, party or whatever with uh, Jean Grey, who's Phoenix at this point. They're going to meet her parents. And apparently she's living with Misty Knight from, from Heroes for Hire, right? Or whatever the, the Iron Fist and Power uh, Power Man's group is called. Sorry, Luke Cage. Yeah, so it turns out, like, the, the main villain in this book is Eric the Red, who's an assassin for the Shi'ar Empire, who is... Who's there to kill Charles Xavier? Who's going to help out she, the uh, Leandra, right? But like the X Men uh, are out, out to beat the crap out of him, but that they don't know that he has an uh, ally, which is Fire Lord, a herald of Galactus, who thinks that the X Men are villains because they see they see uh, the X Men attack Eric the Red unprovoked, which he doesn't know their their history, right? So you get an awesome battle. That's pretty cool where he where they the Fire Lord pretty much one shots everybody. And the art looks pretty good. Uh, the the pages are pretty faded, right? And here you have a scene where like they clearly rip off Star Trek, right? And uh yeah you have the they're they're chasing they're chasing they're chasing Leandra's ship, but then when they get close to Earth, um, and they find out that uh, that oh yeah that primitive world actually d defeated Galactus uh, four times actually. So like defeated the Galactus. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so they turn around and run. So that was funny, right? 
Yeah, the maybe don't defeat Galactus. Maybe don't use Galactus so much, Marvel, because <laughs> it's like the more times you be in, the more or less of a Freddy he comes off, right? But yeah. So yeah, uh, eventually Fire Lord shows up to beat the shit out of Xavier, and they have a fight. Fire Lord has a fight with Phoenix, right? Yeah, so all this is going on. I kind of just want to go to the next story. Which the the, the battle ends with um, Eric the Red kidnapping Leandra, who finally meets Professor X and going through a Stargate to the Shi'ar Empire. And the X-Men, uh, using the Phoenix's power, follows after them, right? So next we have a bonus story. Where Phoenix, sorry, uh, what's her name? Jean Grey and Misty Knight are hanging out at the beach. Um, Misty Knight uh, takes a nap on the beach, has a dream, and the Phoenix interrupts her dream. And it scares Misty Knight. Uh, and Miss, like, Jean Grey's like, oh, nothing happened. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I, and until, like, she hears, like, a family. And danger in the in the ocean. So she goes. She borrows the the speedboat and goes after him and brings Misty along. Where Misty almost gets killed by a shark, but gets saved by a dolphin. And it turns out the family that was in danger was a family of dolphins. A school fit. Like yeah. And Misty and Misty's pissed off at first. You risked my life for a fish, but then like. Um, Jean Grey uses her telepathic powers to link her with the fish, and then it's like, oh, okay, whatever. So what did I think about this book? All right. I honestly would rather read the omnibuses than track down old X-Men comics, but you know what? This was, for five bucks, aside from this piece of shit, I hope that's chocolate, by the way. I fucking hope that's chocolate. Um, besides from that, uh, it was, this was worth the five bucks. It was, for, for a book that was, for, that's the thing with older comic books, is that they take longer to read. <laughs> so it's like, oh, for five bucks, I got like, you know, I got like two stores. It was a, it was a good read. And I like the art, classic X-Men art. And I, this was published in 1987, by the way. But yeah, but I, I don't know. Could, uh, I would appreciate it if somebody, uh, you know, schooled me on what the hell the classic X-Men is. I think it's a reprint of, like, old uh, Claremont and John Byrne, but it's not John Byrne didn't do the art. So, yeah, we, which we are going to review a John Byrne X-Men book, uh, either for, like, uh, soon, probably for the finale, right? By the way, uh, so if I were to give this, it's a 7 out of 10. So let me know, guys, if I if I should or should not review War the War of Kings for X-Men month. Right, because th these are mostly in human books, but there's X Men characters in these books. Like, it, like Vulcan, the brother of Cyclops, fights uh, uh, Black Bolt, and like you know, this has I think X Men characters in it because it says X Men X Men Kingbreaker one through four. So I don't know. Let me know if I can review if this is enough. If these are enough, like, fit the the theme of X-Men month, and if I could review them for X-Men month. If not, we'll review them afterwards, but yeah. I enjoy this book, 7 out of 10. I'll probably, maybe, if I can get the X-Men, the classic X-Men books cheap, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get them, right? So that's it for this review, guys. Peace.